welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan welcome back to the legion expansion where today we are going to be breaking out of the arcway dungeon and uh, i'm very excited because uh this dungeon has been giving me a, a bunch of headache <laughs> finally found some way out and there's actually multiple ways to get out of this dungeon uh but i'm going to be showing you two of them and i love this um city here that we're in and I believe it's Suamar, right? If I'm saying that right. Suamar City. Uh, you know, you guys can correct me on it. But uh, yeah, we're here in front, in front of the Arcway entrance. And we're going to be jumping into the map. Uh, I'm excited to be back. I know it's been a minute since I've been uploading videos. I was been focusing on some life things. And I had a couple of downfalls with computers that I purchased. <laughs> that was kind of saddening. But, um, you know, you, you live and learn with your life. But yeah, we're back and uh, we're going to be doing the Arcway and I can't wait to do it with you guys. Now, this dungeon, there's a few really awesome things outside the map that I want to explore and we're going to be doing that today. So come and join me as we go do the Arcway dungeon. I have to admit to all of you, this is a really beautiful dungeon um, besides doing the out of bounds stuff. I just love the art direction in here. This like mysterious library that we have here in the Forgotten Library. Uh, I actually featured this in one of my recent um, liminal space videos where I actually got right below the map here, down here. And uh, it's just really awesome. I love this area in, in the game, especially in this dungeon right here. And I just love the floating books and just the atmosphere in here is beautiful. So we're going to get to the out of bounds here in a moment, but I want you guys to kind of soak in everything that has this dungeon has to offer and with all the hdr and i'm playing in 4k and the game's graphic settings are set to ultra it's just a beautiful dungeon and i think it really gets overlooked a lot of times all right guys so our first way of how to escape the arc way actually comes right here in the forgotten library speaking about the forgotten library in the entrance way here, there is a way that I discovered outside of the dungeon um, a while back. And uh, I've, I've been meaning to come back to this dungeon and actually do the out of bounds. But if you make your way to the entrance and you jump on top of the pillar here, and then you go up here. Now catch yourself because you may fall right here. You jump out here, come up here. Jump out here, come out here. Now this is kind of the tricky part. Um, you want to land on the pillar up here. And then you kind of want to shimmy your way across the pillar where you go out to the very edge here. And then you want to like walk across the ledge here. Now keep making your way, keep making your way, keep making your way until you get to the back side. Now, once you get over here, kind of do the same thing. Be really careful. You're going to want to jump on top of here. So I like to usually make myself big with my drinking horn. And that just allows me to get some extra like height on top of uh whatever i'm doing and watch out and right there you may fall so <laughs> we're gonna do that one more time i'll show you guys just what i did so we're gonna jump on top of here we're gonna jump up here we're gonna jump out oh i failed ah i'm failing again i'm gonna get rid of my drinking horn but as you guys see it may take a little bit of moment to get up there uh but it's pretty pretty easy to pull off it just takes a little bit of like catching yourself there we go. So we got back up to the top. We're going to make our way up to the ledge here. We're going to shimmy our way out. Walk over this way. And there we go. Now we're back up here again. Now, this is kind of the hard part because it's kind of hard to catch yourself. So you can kind of just make your way up here. And there you go. You'll actually fall through the back side of the map there. So if you get up there, that is the way to get out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that one more time. And hopefully we won't actually fall through. But this is just one way that I have learned to actually get out of the arcway. And I want to show you this way first to show you kind of where you can go with it. All right. We're going to do that one more time. We're going to make our way out and we fell again. But you guys get the point. Um, so give me one second. I'll be right back. I'm going to get up to the top here. And then I'll show you once I get up there. All right, guys. We are back again. And we have officially made it to the top, as you can see here. Now, right behind me, the wall, this is where you'll exactly walk through. 
What you want to do instead of walking straight, you'll jump out this way and you can fly out that way. And that will actually take you through the map and you can go to two different sections. You can actually go into the night flow conduit over here. You can fly out this way more towards the grand hall. Where I'm going to be showing you next is the fell breach. And that's going to be like the main out of bounds area that we want to go explore. But I want to show you guys the way that I get out here and what you can kind of see. So I'm actually going to fly towards the night flow conduit. We may fly back into the map. I do apologize if I do, but just uh, do this right here. Fly out this way and boom, you're officially outside of the map, which you can see. And we flew back inbound, but we made it to the other boss. <laughs> so there we go. Um, and you can see and you can actually get inside this room here, which is really awesome to see. Um, but we can just kill the boss here real quick because we need to kill him anyways. And there we go. That is one way on how to get out of the arc way. And then uh, I'm going to show you guys the next way here in just a minute. But let's go back up there and I'll fly out that way and I'll show you guys what's packed there. So give me one sec. All right, guys, we are back up here again. And now we're going to fly out to the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight out this way and we're going to go out this way. And I can kind of show you guys a little awesome view here. And we flew back into the map again. <laughs> So that's going to happen. But there you guys go. There is one way to get out. And uh, unfortunately, we keep flying back into the map. But I don't want to keep wasting time with you guys here. Uh, but you get the point. So you can get up there and just experiment with it. You can get outside the map. Now, where I really want to get to is the Fell Breach. And we're going to be doing that next. So just give me a minute. Uh, I'll be right back. And we're going to get outside the map again. And we're going to get over to the Fell Breach. And I'll show you how to do that. So be right back. Grand Magistrix will have your heads for this. All right, guys, before we get to the actual fell breach, I wanted to show you something real quick here. Something very interesting. Uh, you can't actually get outside the map here that I don't think. But over here in the beginning area over by over by the fell breach, there's a stairway right here. And uh, you can get on top of like this. These like flower pottery plants up here whatever you want to call them um and there's a spot over here where you can actually drop down into the map but as you can see you don't actually go outside the map and i think i might have got stuck <laughs> uh but what's funny is you can go in through the map over here and uh, you can just drop down and kind of mess with it i haven't been able to actually uh get out but uh Oh gosh, yeah, I might actually really be stuck, so I might need to campfire myself here in a minute. Yeah, I'm actually stuck in the map, but there you go. There's like another spot that you can kind of mess with, but um, yeah, just be careful. Don't get stuck like I have, so I'll be right back. I'll show you guys the Fell Reacher. All right, guys, welcome back again. We are going to be getting into the Fell Breach, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it right now. So this is what everybody's probably been waiting for in the video. Uh, so I am outside of the night flow conduit right over here, as you can see, and there is a doorway or a, I, you could say arcway, ha, uh, going into the door here. And, uh, you're just going to want to follow my lead here and just follow exactly where I go. Now there might be multiple ways to get out of here, but this is like the best way that I've found so far. And this took a long time to find. <laughs> So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So uh, we're on top of the stairs. We're going to jump on top of the pillar here. And then we're going to jump out here and jump on the next pillar. Now, this is a little tricky. We're going to come out this way behind the door. As you can see, your character. Uh, we're going to get on the ledge behind the door here. There we go. And then we're just going to jump across to the other ledge opposite uh, to your right side. So if you were standing right here, you're going to go to your right. Uh, we're going to get over here. All right. Now from here... We're going to want to fly out and then do a vengeful retreat on top. And then well, on top of here, we're going to want to glide over here. And there we go. And then we're going to want to get into this little crevice of a pillar setting up right here. Now, once you get over here, you can land right here. And there you go. That's like the hardest part of. And you can see um, right over here, you can drop down into a little crack in the wall here. And then once you drop down. You can just, uh, oh, 
Oops. Okay, we went back in. But there you go. You guys kind of understand how to get out. So I'm going to go do that one more time for you guys so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Because it is a little tricky to get out at first. So we're going to do that one more time. So we're going to go on top of here. We're going to go over here. We're going to go behind the door again. There we go. And then we're just going to jump up over here. We're going to go right around here. We're going to jump out. Ventral retreat up. We're going to land on top of here. Oh, and I'm losing myself again. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Anyways, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to get on top of here again. And uh, so we can not have to keep showing you guys over and over because I'm, I'm failing this apparently. So be right back. All right, guys, we have officially made it out and we're back in again. <laughs> and we DC. All right, guys, we have officially made it outside. And man, that was quite the task to do so. We are officially in the water outside of the arcway, so you can see where I'm at. So I flew from around over here this way and then kind of got lucky and landed in the water. But we're going to try to make our way over to the fell breach here. Um, so we're going to make our way out this way here. And we're going to see if we can get inside the breach over here. As you can see, that's where we want to get to. Um, so far, we're doing okay. I'm trying not to get back into bounds here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out this way. And then we're going to fly inwards that way because we might even DC, but that's okay. Uh, because our goal is to get over there and okay. That, that's a good sign. We DC'd, which is good. So we're going to go back in. We're going to reconnect here and we're going to fly in again and hopefully there we go. We made it in. So we're going to reconnect one more time. And as you can tell, it's kind of a pain to get in the kind of a pain in the butt here to get in. So we're going to keep going and I think we should be in. Ah, okay. But we're DCing, so I don't know. I got to figure out here how we can get in. As you guys can tell, it's kind of hard to make it into this place. It's not easy. Ah, see, we're making it in, but we're disconnecting. So, and I think it's because we're going through the wall. Um, and this is what we want, but it's also like we're getting stuck. So I don't know if maybe we actually can't make it in right here. I thought that we could. Let's try one more time. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a little more. And just do a little bit of gliding. Ah, see, every time we DC and then it just brings us out. So I don't know. Maybe I need to, um, what I might need to do is metamorphosis in to the wall here. So I'm going to glide and then metamorphosis in and see if that lets us in. Ah, we dropped down. We messed it up. Gosh, dang. That sucks. All right. Well, that was a failed attempt. So we may need to redo this again. I'm, I might just drop down and die and try to get back in here again. This is tough. This is not an easy way in. But that's see, that's where we want to get to. I'm so sad. We're just going to fly down here now. But you guys get this awesome shot of what everything looks like below. Uh, as you can see the map, there is everything underneath here. We're just going to glide straight down. And actually, before we get to the bottom, I'm going to die again real quick because I want to see if I can still get over there because I want to show you guys that area, but it's not easy. So what we're going to do, we're just going to drop straight down and we're going to die and I will be right back. All right, everybody, we are back again and <laughs> we are officially in the water area of the map. As you can see, we are outside of the arcway and as you come out here, you get this awesome view of the outside of the map. But where we want to get to is over here. So what we're going to try to do here is we're going to jump out, vengeful retreat and see if we can just barely rush into the map here. Um, if this all works out, this should work. So. We're going to try it in three, two, 
One. And we did it. We made it in. Look at that. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Can we man out? No, we can't mount up. Okay. Ah, oh, guys. I can tell you how relieved I am. Oh my goodness. It took me forever to get in here. I am so happy right now that we made it in. Now, I don't know what is death walls, what is falling through the map. So we're just going to kind of play it safe here and be careful. But look at that. We made it in. I'm so happy right now. Woo. Okay, so where we're currently at is actually in the fell, the fell Soul Hold, which is right here next to Super Mars City. Um, you can see it on the map. And we are just right outside of like right over here in this area so we got this whole place to go explore and i'm super excited because i've been trying to get in here for the longest time and i can't believe we finally made it in so let's go take a look around actually for uh craps and giggles we're gonna turn on our stinky bright potion and uh we're gonna get rid of our hut again and we're gonna keep moving forward guys this is so exciting Ah, uh, this is the part of the video I wanted to really get today, and I'm so glad that worked out. Now, if you guys follow my lead there, uh, you should be able to directly get in and under the map. It does take a little bit of practice and patience, but you can do it. So, now, what's really interesting out here is they do keep this whole scene of, like, you're still outside on the aisles. And you can see there's actually trees above and all that. And there's actually this cave back here as well, which I kind of want to go inside. But then I don't at the same time because I don't know if it's walkable or not. And sometimes caves are very... 10,000 years beneath a false sky. And we emerged to see the real one choked with vermin. Oh, this is insane. Use the cannons and fell so hold and blast those vile fell bats. So it's like we're inside of the... Uh... <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Look at this. So it's like we're actually inside of the uh, little place here, but we're actually not. Uh, I wonder how far this goes back. Oh, I'm so afraid to go down there. Because I just, I don't want to fall through the map. But I'm going to go do it for you guys. Just to show you. Look how far this goes back. Wow. So this is all outside the map that you're never supposed to see in the dungeon. Which is pretty insane. And this goes pretty far back. Alright. Wow, look at that. They keep all this detail back here. That's pretty crazy. Legion was a great expansion. I have to admit. Alright, let's go head back outside. And uh, let's go see what we can find over here. All right, let's go ahead back up. Wow, that's awesome. I can't believe they keep all of this back here. That's insane. Look at all this detail and everything. I didn't think they would keep this much back here. But I'm so glad we got back here. I'm, I'm, just, I'm so happy. This is one of the maps I've been wanting to explore for a long time and finally was able to get out. And so I'm just I'm really happy and proud of myself for making a way out. I knew that everything is a little... Everything's possible and wow, just gotta find your way out. But this was this was a uh, this was not an easy dungeon to break out of. Um, Blizzard, this was a tough one. Blizzard really made it hard. Okay, so where I want to get to? Ooh, look at these giant colossal dudes. I want to go get on top of the hill and go see the entire map outside over here. So I wish we could ride our mount though. That would be awesome. But I'm so happy. Look at this. You can't target these dudes, unfortunately, but they're really awesome. Just props out here, basically. There's the inside of the map. Look at that right up close. You can get a great view. These things are massive in size, aren't they? All right, I got to get a screenshot. Alright, let's keep moving forward. I gotta save that to my collection and just put like Arcway down kind of bucket list goal here of OOB. <laughs> Alright, let's go head up the hill. So right now I'm drinking some vitamin water 
it's the blueberry pomegranate version sure zero sugar it's really good if you guys haven't ever drank vitamin water vitamin water is expensive though um i gotta stop buying vitamin water putting a hole in my pocket for money <laughs> that stuff is not cheap it tastes really good though all right let's go head up the hill here let's go head up this way Look at that. We're going to get upside the hill here. And another cave is out here. Wow. And another quest starting. That's so funny. We discovered it. Den of the Demented. The Dementors. <laughs> I think of the office. Uh, <laughs> Michael. When uh, Prison Mike's talking about the Dementors. Alright, let's go ahead out this way. Wow, so there actually is a lot out here. Okay, can we make our way up the hill is the real question. Alright, let's go jump up here. So there's the edge of the world there. And as you guys can see, the map does just drop off here. Here we go. All right, let's go get up to the very top. Oh, this is cool. Look at that little campsite up here. I love how that's like perfectly placed for the telescope, like looking into the uh, map here. That's cool. There's the view, guys. So this is where we started and this is where we're at. This is freaking awesome. You know, I wonder if we can get on top of that. That would be a cool challenge, huh? I don't know, though. Let's go explore the rest of the map, and then we'll try to fly over there and see if we can get on top of that structure in the middle. I... I'm... Mm, might have to get up a little higher, like, onto the tree, and then we maybe could make it. But let's go fly down here. And let's go over here. Get a little bit of air. And we'll go, uh back to the side of the map here looks like you can go inside of there which is really awesome I love these floating chains that are just hanging on nothing look at that how cool is that I got like these swinging pillars all right let's keep making our way up the map here and let's go take a look and I love that the music stays on while we're exploring out here I don't know I think it gives it a whole new vibe Ooh, we can get a good look back into the dungeon up here. So let's go head up here and let's go take a look. Now, I do got to be careful because we might fall back into the dungeon. And I definitely want to avoid that if I can. I want to come up here as far as I can. Ooh, this is awesome. Look at that. You got like the uh, wall of uh, Suimar City over here. That's really awesome. Cool. So they do keep a lot out here. So if we come up here, we might be able to get a good look back into the map. Not too much, but pretty cool to see everything, though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can see back in the map a little bit. Oh, where am I? Okay. <sighs> Scaring myself. I want to give you guys this view of getting back in. Look at all that. So that's where we actually came from. And that's where we jumped over from, from the water over into the map here, so... Pretty awesome view. All right, let's go head back in. I don't want to keep messing over here because I don't want to fall back in. Because I think we're technically actually back inside the map over here. So we don't want to keep going down that way. There we go. And they do keep all the trees and everything up over there as well. So that would be like right over here. Um awesome well this is great guys this has been a real treat to see this um now unfortunately i don't think we can make it over there but we can definitely try so let's go try it i mean what's the worst that can happen we just glide back down so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this oh and we're already going the wrong way i don't think we're gonna make this unfortunately but i don't know why my guy shot off the wrong way i don't know what that was all about 
Nice, we discovered the light, the light breaker. Check that out. I just can't believe we're outside of the arcway. This makes me so excited. Ah, so nice. I was wanting to get in here so bad. And uh, we finally did it, and I'm so happy. Now you all have a way to get out of here too, so. Let's go inside of here. Let's go see how much they keep. So this is actually one of the uh, Demon Hunter um, class order hall zones, right? Um, so this thing's pretty sweet. Let's go down here and check this out. So detailed. This is freaking awesome. You know, I, uh, I, I didn't think this much would be outside this map here. I did not think at all that there was going to be a ton out here, but there is a lot. And I'm really surprised how much they kept out here with the whole scenery, but Blizzard definitely made it alive and really awesome. I mean, I know you're never supposed to be out here to begin with, but it's pretty cool to see what they uh, kept. Now there goes back into the dungeon as well. Um, let's go over here. Let's go check out this area. What did we just discover? The Arcway Vaults. Okay. Ooh, our dude's like glitching out. That's a trip. Is that supposed to happen? Our dude is getting really glitchy. What the heck? I'm assuming that's part of the map here. Wow, look at that. Is that normal? Let's go down into here. Let's go see what they keep. And we're actually nowhere to be found. Us? Oh, oh my gosh, there's a chest back here. What the heck? Can we open it? We can. But there's nothing in it. <laughs> oh, look at, look at, you can just keep opening it. Oh, that's hilarious. Are we like in space, time, and continuum? Look at this. Let's go back here. Check that out. Our dude's like spazzing me out. I don't know what's going on. My guess is because we're knit. Uh, well, huh. I don't really know, actually. If anyone can explain exactly what's happening to my character, I would love to know. Let's keep walking this way. Oh, there's the entrance. Can we go this way? Oh, okay, we just did a full circle. Cool. Alright. Man, that's a trip. Everything's so glitchy in here. I wonder what that's all about. And our dude's back. Man, that's a trip right there. That was kind of cool to see. I don't know what that was all about. Our dude was all having like a trip. What that was for, I have no idea. So that was the Arcway Vault. So let's go ahead up here. Can we make our way? We can. We can make our way around, right? Maybe. Oh. Okay. I want to get up there. Because I want to go see how much they keep of the other side of the map. And I think we can get up right here. There we go. And just keep making our way up the hill here. We should be able to climb this. I would be surprised if we can't. Well, actually, I would be surprised if we couldn't either. I wouldn't be surprised, I should say. <laughs> We're not that expert climbers here. Um, let's go ahead up here. There we go. And if we can just make our way right over here, we should be able to get up. But it looks like the edge of the world's up there, but I'm just curious to see what's on this side. And I guess I could have just walked that way, huh? Instead of always taking the difficult route. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, let's go drop back down over here. 
I think we can get up this way. Yeah, there we go. Oh gosh. We're falling. Okay, there we go. You know what? Honestly, I'm just going to say screw it and go back this way. And just go up the hill here. It looks like we can walk up here. It always looks like we can walk and then it kind of stops us, doesn't it? Which is very unfortunate. Ah, shoot. Oh, maybe over here. Alright, it only took getting around the whole map just to get up, didn't it? There we go. There we go. First try. Look at us. We're so good at this game. Alright, let's go head over here. And let's go... Oh, nice. Okay, so they do keep some stuff back here. I love all the trees and the colors and all that. We definitely don't want to fall back down the hill. But look at they keep this piece of land over here. What's that all about? Now I'm curious. Here's to see what's back here. I wish we could mount up. That would be uh ideal. Instead of walking. And our dude does not have good direction with that vengeful retreat, dude. Do we? <laughs> I guess not. Alright guys, well I think we're going to be coming to the end of the video here. I want to say thank you all for joining me in this Arcway Adventure of Legion. This was a really fun dungeon to map to break out of. It was definitely a big challenge. And I love that because it helps me get better at doing OOBs. And to bring you guys, you know, the best content I can. Um... But okay, so they just keep some of the trees and like some of the forest area back here. But they also do keep this like very grayish land mass over here. Nothing special on it. And you can kind of see the side of the uh, land here. Ah, man, I'm so happy, guys. I can't believe we actually made it out of the arcway. So, well, guys, well, thank you for joining me on this adventure. Um, I've had a great time. I hope you guys have too. It's been awesome to see everything outside and, um, you know, more, more videos are going to be heading your guys way. I promise. Um, I still need to hold the hide and seek event for OOB. Haven't done that yet either. And then, uh, we're coming to the end of the year here, which is very exciting because next year we're going to be starting, uh, kicking off 2025 with Shadowlands and we're going to be doing the dungeons and raids in there. So I can't wait. And, uh, anyways, guys, always, my name is Nathan and, uh, I will catch you all on the next video. So, hope you guys take care.